G'day guys and welcome back to my fourth episode of Quick Reviews. Now in a recent poll I ran, I asked my subscribers what movie tagline interested them the most. The overwhelming consensus was that they wanted to see a secret government plot being uncovered. Well, the people have spoken, and today I'm bringing you the star-studded political thriller, The Enemy Within. It stars Oscar winners Forrest Whitaker and Jason Robards, alongside an ensemble of veteran actors, including Sam Waterson, Joseph Summer, and Dana Delaney. Although the movie is set in 1994, the plot is still just as relevant to present day. So the movie opens with captions which lay the backdrop for the plot. The US Congress is trying to pass a military spending bill, but with only a week left, the President is standing firm in his opposition. That's when we're introduced to Colonel Casey, played by Whitaker. He works at the Defence Department under the command of General Lloyd, played by Robards. When Casey stumbles upon an anomaly, he diligently brings it to the attention of Lloyd. It's a highly unusual military training operation that classifies the use of live ammunition and mass troop deployment. But even stranger still is Lloyd's rather coy and dismissive response. Casey detects that something may be amiss, so he starts doing his own research. He slowly unravels a sinister plan to remove and replace the president through the pretense of a constitutional crisis. With time closing in around him, he must convince the president of this imminent threat and gather the evidence required before going public. To say any more would be to spoil the revelations which culminate in a rather satisfying ending. This movie is packed with political intrigues which set it apart from others in this genre. In fact, it is a contemporary remake of the Cold War masterpiece Seven Days in May, directed by John Frankenheimer. It always felt authentic, and if you look at it realistically, mirrors events happening in Washington today. A president who stands firmly for his election promises and isn't a puppet for the military-industrial complex. Sounds like someone familiar, doesn't it? All up, I give this film four halos out of five. It's not perfect by any means, and some of the action scenes felt tacked on for dramatic effect, but it never dragged during its hour and a half runtime. Jason Robard's Machiavellian performance was the highlight for me, and his final confrontation with Forrest Whitaker alone made it worth the effort of watching. As always, if you'd like to see more of The Enemy Within, feel free to click on the links I provided in both the description and comment section below. Also, if you are new to this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe or leave a thumbs up as it really helps. For everyone else, I'd love to read your comments once you've seen this movie for yourself. Stay safe, and I'll see you again on the next episode of Quick Reviews.